Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about UMTS Terrestrial Radio Access Network, that is Utron Overview. This topic is present in the subject Wireless Networks. UMTS Terrestrial Radio Access Network, that is Utron Overview. Utron is a collective term for the network and equipment that connects mobile handsets to the public telephone network or the internet. The representation of this Utron is the small diagram. This Utron communication network commonly referred to as 3G for third generation wireless mobile communication technology can carry many traffic types from real-time circuit switched CS to IP based packet switched PS. The Utron allows connectivity between the user equipment and the core network. Compared to the GSM network architecture, the radio access network of UMTS called the Utron, that is Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network, constitutes the main innovation and allows data and signaling traffic exchange between user equipment UE and core network CN. GSM system architecture versus Utron architecture comparison is shown below. Here is a GSM system architecture. Here is a Utron architecture. Let us just compare these two architectures. In the GSM system architecture, the mobile station comprises of SIM and ME, that is mobile equipment. In the Utron, it is represented as UE, that is user equipment. Okay. In the GSM system architecture, we are having base system, base station subsystem. In the Utron architecture, we will be having radio network controller, that is UMTN, RAN. And in the GSM architecture, we will be having network subsystem. Here, in the Utron architecture, we will be having core network. In the GSM architecture, the network subsystem is having the link between the PSTN, ISDN, PSDP, PDN. In this Utron architecture, the core network is having the link between the PSTN, ISDN and the PDN. In further slides, we will discuss in detail about the Utron architecture. Utron handles the allocation and the withdrawal of radio bearers required for the traffic support on the radio interface and controls some functions related to user equipment mobility and network access. It contains the base stations which are called node bees and the radio network controllers RNCs which make up the UMTS radio access network that is Utron. Utron architecture representation is shown below. Here is the architecture of Utron. The Utron is the link between the user equipment UE and the core network domain that is CN domain respectively through the U suffix U interface and I suffix U interfaces. Air interface. In cellular telephone communications, the air interface is the radio frequency portion of the circuit between the cellular phone set or wireless modem that is usually portable or mobile and the active base station. The logical connections between the network elements are known as interfaces. Utron architecture. 
the uterine architecture can be divided into three main elements they are uc equipment also known as ue radio network subsystem also called as rns and core network that is cn uterine logical architecture is shown below here is a logical architecture of uterine in this uterine we have rns that is radio network subsystem and rnc radio network controller then node b this rns is having the link between the core network the core network may be a circuit switch to one or it may be a packet switch to one in the radio network subsystems will be having one rnc and the node b's are connected to the rnc's this is indicated in this diagram and the interfaces between the rnc and rnc is i suffix u r interface between the rnc and node b is i suffix u b interface between the rnc and core network is i suffix u this is represented in this diagram let us see uterine interfaces the interface between the rnc that is the radio network controller and the circuit switched core network is called i suffix u cs cs represents the circuit switched and between the rnc and the packet switched core network is called iups ps represents the packet switched other interfaces include i suffix ub between the rnc and the node b and i suffix u or between the rncs in the same network i suffix u interfaces carry user traffic such as voice or data as well as control information let us see the uterine architecture user equipment element in detail in uterine user equipment there is ue is any device used directly by an end user to communicate it can be a handheld telephone a laptop computer equipped with a mobile broadband adapter or any other device the radio interface between the ue and the node b is called u suffix u functionality of the user equipment this is the representation of user equipment user equipment can handle the following tasks towards the core network they are mobility management call control and session management identity management now we see radio network subsystem rns element in detail the rns also known as umts radio access network that is utron is the equivalent of the previous base station subsystem or bss in gsm it provides and manages the air interface for the overall network yeah rns is in in turn composed of one radio network controller and one or several node b's controlled via i suffix ub interface the representation of rns is shown here the rns has two main logical elements node b and r nc the rns is responsible for the radio resources and transmission or reception in a set of cells 
SL that is a sector is one coverage area served by a broadcast channel. We see radio network controller present in the radio network subsystem. This is the diagram of the radio network controller RNC. Yeah, RNC is responsible for the use and allocation of all the radio resources of the RNS to which it belongs. It can also handle the user voice and packet data traffic. It can perform the necessary action to access the radio bearers on the user data streams. RNC has the following responsibilities in the RNS. Intra-uterine handover, frame synchronization, radio resource management, macro diversity, combining or splitting of ISFX UV data streams, outer loop power control, and ISFX U interface user plane setup, radio resource allocation, frame selection slash distribution functions necessary for soft handover, UMTS radio link control that is RLC sublayers function execution and termination of MAC RLC and RRC protocols for the transport channels. ISFX UV's use of plane protocol termination. See the element node B in the radio network subsystem. Node B is the exchange node between the uteron and all the user equipments located in the cell or sectors covered by node B. It mainly assures physical layer functions such as interleaving, channel coding and decoding, rate matching, spreading, QPSK modulation, etc. Node B diagram. This is the node B diagram. A node B is responsible for radio transmission and reception in one or more cells to slash from the user equipment UE. Node B has following responsibilities. Radio transmission and reception handling. Transmission of ISFX UB interface from RNC. Involved in the mobility management. Termination of MAC protocol for transport channels, inner and open power control, radio channel coding decoding, macro diversity combining or splitting of data streams from its cells, termination of use of XU interface from the user equipment UE, frequency and time synchronization. Power weighting and combining of physical channels, multiplexing of transport channels and demultiplexing of coded composite transport channels, error detection on transport channels and indication to higher layers. These are the responsibilities of node B that is connected to the radio network subsystem. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.